Welcome back to the garage. Welcome back to the channel. And you may recognize our old LS swap El Camino, actually GMC Cavalero. Let's get talking about wireless back. So our LS swap El Camino GMC Cavalero that you guys all tuned in to see the last time came back again and it just had a uh, a few problems going on. Number one is it had a little bit of a radiator leak and that was coming from the lower radiator hose. We just took care of that. Our AC compressor was making all sorts of noise in there. So I uh, took it out on a test drive, put the temperature gun on it. The, the head pressure or the head temperature on that was like 300 and some degrees. And it was just rattling like a can full of BBs above and beyond that over on this side of the car. And, oh, wait, back up, <clears throat> back up. All right. <laughs> so this car used to do the G body shuffle plus, plus, plus. Like the G body shuffle was, the force was with it. And really hadn't been underneath the car you know before but what I found was the front sway bar oh geez probably not even gonna be able to see it wait wait here we go here we go the front sway bar in links okay this is getting ridiculous yeah right there they weren't even in the car. Then the upper ball joints, they were the OEM originals on both sides. Those were still riveted in. We took the ball joints out of it and uh, replaced those. Uh, what else did we do? Changed out the brake lines on it. The reservoir was pretty contaminated. So we flushed the reservoir, got the brakes all nice and neat again. Detailed the engine up, it was pretty filthy. Um, I think it been sitting outside a pretty good little bit. Over in the back, there was, let's see if I hit the right switch here. Now, you probably can't see it too terribly much, but believe me when I tell you, there was some wiring in there and basically it had fallen off of the frame rail. Got, matter of fact, there's part of the harness right there. Um, got rubbed by the side of the tire and the tire weared away, weared, wore away all the plastic on the wiring. The wiring was all touching together, letting out the magic sparks. And unfortunately, it was telling the transmission to slip the TCC. So the transmission was building up a ton of heat. And then on top of it, the torque converter that I took out of this was like a 10 inch converter with a 28 to 3200 stall. We went back to a normal size converter, but a 2100 stall. I don't know that I ever even started this up for you. Um, it's supposed to be a sleeper, okay? It's even got cutouts underneath it. Um, let's see if I can show those to you. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, there they are. There they are. So it's got cutouts on it and you can actuate those, you know, from right inside the cab of the car. But once I start this up, you're going to realize, like, you're not sneaking up on nobody with this car. Like, if you fall for this. So that's what's going on with our LS Swap G-Body. 
And I know some of you guys probably tuned in because you saw that orange in the picture sitting out front. Well, not going to disappoint you because I need to go do some testing on it, do a cold start and see what it does. And there it is. So <clears throat> this came in because, well, frankly, it quit running. And uh, uh, we got it back up and running, did a whole bunch of tuning on it uh, as far as ignition goes and, and, and timing and what have you. Now, this is a 68 Pontiac GTO. It is an actual GTO. It is a 455 Pontiac big block, automatic transmission, AC car. You'll see the firewall was smoothed out, but it's not that apparent, which is really nice. Really nice. Um, got a little laundry list of things to do on it, but uh, I'm going to try out a cold start because that was one of the things above and beyond. Uh, you got to shim the starter, but this is just a nice car. Nice car. It's got a ton of power. See that even on the inside, we got the updated GTO seats and those are power, which is a really nice feature in this car. We got our H gate shifter, spun aluminum dash. And well, let's see what it does. That's just a little sneak peek at the uh, GTO project. There'll be a little more coming up on that as we got a few things knock off of our list here. But as you can tell, and the fans are gonna shut off here in just a second, that is one sweet car. I love a big block car. I just, and when it comes to an old car, I'd much rather have a big block than, than, than an LS. All day long, I'll take a big block. And beyond the GTO and the Cavalero, slash El Camino. The 57 is all primed. It's all sealed. I've been going around it just taking care of any last little blemishes on it, which I found a couple right about there. Got to sand those out. Finished up the trunk area. Uh, Got to swap the doors on it. I got to put the driver's door back on, take passenger door off, jam that all out because you can't do, get to it with the doors on the car. And this is off to paint. And... What else we got going on? Got some skirts and my car is long, again, overdue for some maintenance. Freaking everything needs maintenance. The car needs maintenance. I need maintenance. The truck needs maintenance. Damn air compressor probably needs maintenance. Actually, I got a new one. See, there it is, got a new one. Hey, anyways, y'all, that's what I'm gonna call it a day take myself on home. I think I'm going to make some tacos. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. See you.